Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 9 German battleship, the Paman. We're playing a match on the map, the Atlantic. And this happened on stream yesterday, but I really wanted to share it with you because I stumble upon a pretty great push. Do I push in? As the Jutland Benson Fletcher. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it. Maybe I should have hydro it slightly later. Maybe it'll help the Ogna way out. No, I should have waited another kilometer before I used it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's kind of the point. I don't see why Eger is a ship. Siegfried is just better. And it's the same style of boat. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's imagine that both of the German cruisers are pretty decent for, let's say, ranked, right? If you pick Eger, there's a higher chance the enemy gets the Siegfried than your team. Because, the, you know, matchmaking tries to balance out uh, ships and classes of the same nation. So if they get a German cruiser, you get a German cruiser. Instead of one, guy, one side getting two German cruisers and the other side getting two Soviet cruisers or something like that. It's blocked, which means it's blocked from somewhere over there. This will be quite surprising for the destroyer here, though, in a bit. Oh, hello, Fletcher. How's your day going? Not so good in a moment, I think. Thank you for the smoke screen. That is very appreciated. You know, that is very much appreciated here. I'm, by the way, hydroing the Fletcher right now. Because she keeps turning. And I'm not touching my rudder, which means I'm going full speed, whereas the Fletcher is turning a little bit. Therefore, she is not going full speed. And by the way, right now, since I haven't even fired my main batteries, I'm unspotted. We have my gegnerischen and Zerstörer versenkt. How about them apples? I do think I might be slightly far forward now, though. Usually with all, usually I don't end up this far forward so early. But we got the cap. And I think we might as well keep going at this point. And it'll probably throw quite a few enemies, uh, you know, for a loop. Also, we have another smoke screen that lasts for an entire minute. Oh, radar. Interesting. Wonder what has radar over here. Uh, Des Moines, I guess. Yeah, it has to be the Des Moines. But the Des Moines might very well be next to the Alsace. I'm gonna just chill somewhere right here. There's, I don't need to push at the moment. I can wait a little bit of time. Because this might be dangerous. I don't know what else might be lurking out there. Yeah, but to make sure Kriegsmarine, uh, don't expect that this is gonna be your experience every time, okay? It's usually not gonna be. But this time I saw the opportunity, because of the smoke screen from the Ognavoy, right? Uh, the Fletcher didn't know I was coming. And that made it really easy to do. Oh my god, Alsace, what are you doing? You do understand I have torpedoes, right? Last time I checked, your citadel was actually vulnerable, unlike mine. I'm gonna switch my secondary target to the... Uh... Oh, yeah, turret tube is immediately destroyed. It... I don't know why, but it basically always happens. Like, this ship... You get fired upon a little bit, your torpedo tubes are perma-broken immediately. I need to switch my secondary target to the lion, because the angle is bad for the Des Moines, right? Only a few of the main battery or secondaries can fire at the Des Moines. No, yeah. Okay, yeah, no. Freak these, you're right. I mean, technically, I don't really have trouble understanding why it happens. It 
I'm more showing my frustration for it. Let's turn in now, because the lion's gonna fire in a bit. Oh, HE, never mind then. It doesn't matter if I turn in. At least not much. Damage control party would be nice right now, but it's fine, I think. Oh, she's healing. She fired a salvo from there. This broke this torpedo tube here. I got hit from that side and this torp tube broke just now. What the? What the hell? Seriously, what? Seriously, what? H how? She fired an HE salvo that hit this side of the ship and it broke the torp tube on this side here. <laughs> what? Anyway, we already won the game. Uh, flying Burrito, I mean, she didn't want to do that. It's just that she was caught off guard by the fact that... Look, Yucky, one of the things um, that people might not think about too often is that when they see me do something crazy like push the lion and the... Alsace right here, right? They'll go like, wow, stuff like that never happens in my games. But the reason why this was even possible is because of the Fletcher in C, right? Because we took out the Fletcher so early, it was possible for us to actually do this kind of a push. Otherwise, you know, you can't do that because the Fletcher will constantly torpedo you, etc. And essentially this was like a, this was something that emerged from the circumstances. The Lion's plan was that she would, you know, sit somewhere over here or somewhere here-ish and just keep shelling at range with HE. But that didn't materialize because the front line for the Lion just evaporated before her. Well, at least I... Four shells hit out of six here. Wow. That's some accuracy. Oh yeah, I should heal. What the hell launched those torpedoes? That they're still going. I think I might get hit by one of them. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Jesus. You know I can't actually do something to a Des Moines because my uh, my 380 guns cannot overmatch Des Moines armor, so she would actually have to show me side for a lot of damage to happen. If she, I guess we are far away enough that maybe it doesn't matter. Oh right, but in the easy target, you're right. Those do have an insane amount of range. the game ends now. I guess there's no point in firing that salvo, since the shells will never arrive. But we still won this match fairly easily. This is a great push, 141k damage. Only sank one ship, but we did push quite extensively and I think that disrupted the enemy quite significantly. This puts us at number 2 on the team. Surprisingly, Aosta Jutland actually did more in this match, but 1800 base XP is acceptable. Secondaries did roughly 37k damage. Pretty good for a game that only lasted for 10 minutes and 30 seconds. But then again, the main battery is also an added, added another 73k. This was an excellent game for being so short. I really lucked out on that push. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support and I hope I'll see you guys next time.